everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Amy, that's Luna. <laughs> and this is the Shadowed Path, where we talk about witchcraft from my perspective. Basically, I consider this my personal field journal of experiences, practices, and findings. Um, some of the information I share here is good for beginners, and some of it's good for people who are more... <laughs> serious about their practice, but whatever you are, wherever you are, if that sounds like something that would interest you, um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon and um, select all so you know when I upload, because I'm still pretty inconsistent. I promised to do this video a little while ago. I don't really know if anyone was asking for it. Probably not. That was really annoying. My camera just stopped. Today is another menstrual prep. Per, pff, pff. Today is another menstrual blood prep video, and this time it's different. This time we're going to be gathering and prepping. I'm going to show you how I gather and prep dr dry blood for use in like more of a powdered form for like incense or talismans or, you know, anything that would better serve using a dry substance, that is what this method is for. Mm. And I'm probably gonna ramble a bit, and I'm probably gonna a bit, and <laughs> rant some, so come along with me on this ride while I do that. I might also <laughs> have to, like, sit on the floor or something, so you guys can... Oh, that yeah, you still can't see my face. If I do this, we'll be fine. Right? Right. Okay. Alright, that's an awkward angle if I've ever seen one. So, I think I have everything that I need to get started. Got some ni nitrile, 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 nitrile. Got some gloves here. <laughs> because sanitation and hygiene. So... These are just your usual, like, powder-free medical gloves. Fits either hand. That's so nice because I'm using them on both of my hands. I got these from, like, Target, I think. This is a jar. It used to have dill relish in it. It was really good dill relish. <laughs> it's gone now. For the sake of being, like, thrifty and not spending a bunch of money and also not being wasteful, I like to save glass jars from things so like jam relish candles various other things jars and jars with lids especially I like to keep I'll try to take the labels off if I can but otherwise like I might just cover over it with something which I should do I know I have a glue stick somewhere so I'm just going to put it in this this has been through the dishwasher it's been in my storage stuff for a while speaking of I'm gonna rearrange my magical storage area pretty soon. I was just given a beautiful hutch I'm gonna use as my like apothecary hutch and well apothecary <laughs> like I know apothecary stuff please that is not I'm not good at that stuff that's not what I'm good at but anyway <laughs> if you guys would be interested in seeing a video of me like setting that up and rearranging it and rearranging my bookshelves and everything since I'm gonna be doing that soon let me know I'll leave a comment in the down there and you can give it a, a thumb or whatever. <laughs> I just like to have one of your thumbs, please. No, 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 don't send me your thumbs. Anyways, jar. Trigger warning. I'm about to show you a blade. This is a razor blade. Again, this channel is not for children. I do not recommend anybody uses anything sharp or unsafe, okay? This is a safety razor. It's not a safety razor. I don't know what it's called, but this is one of those ones that you can replace the blade in and you use it to scrape glass. Like you can use it for stoves or for windshields or whatever. Anyway, this is a blade that I have used before for other things. I'm going to want to throw it away after this anyhow. So it isn't going to hurt anything to use this blade because I will then dispose of it. But I'm going to use this to scrape up the blood. Now, 
Let me explain why I have to scrape up the blood. As you can see, what I did was I collected, mmm, tasty. <laughs> so I got an IUD. So I never thought that my menstrual blood would be like a diminishing resource, but it is because the IUD was such a terrible experience. It was so awful. But anyway, the point is when I was still having normal periods, they were awful. And one of the things that I find valuable about blood period, but especially about menstrual blood is that demons are attracted to suffering. So menstrual blood for me is related to just for me personally is related to a lot of suffering because I've never had easy periods. So for me, menstrual blood is like so much more potent in the suffering department than like pricking my finger. That is not to say that this is like the ultimate type of blood to use or anything like that. I just, you guys have heard me talk about this before. I just don't see a reason to let it go to waste. And um, trust me, I have let a lot of it go to waste in, over the years. So anyway, what I did was I collected this using a menstrual cup and I poured it in here. This is a clean glass, like just Pyrex, but you can use any sort of flat, flat surface, flat glass or metal, something that won't um, be ruined, basically. I just poured it in here and I let it dry. I set it atop one of my bookshelves so my dogs couldn't get to it. I don't know if you can see, but there's definitely some like dog hair from the air that's accumulated in this, so that's disgusting. But what about this isn't disgusting, right? Like I'm literally wearing gloves. <laughs> so <laughs> this is not, this is not something I'm doing because I just like love it so much, you know what I mean? Anyways, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scrape this dried mess up and collect it in the jar and that's gonna be it. So, and while I do that, I'm gonna talk your ear off. So I got this IUD and uh, so I guess one of the perks of IUDs is that, uh, I guess one of the perks of IUDs is that you, a person who has one, Luna, this is not for you. No, back up, please. Apparently, it can lessen or completely stop a person's periods, which is fantastic and not the reason I got it. But that is a happy side effect. Stop it. No. Luna, over here. Good girl. Settle. 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 Good girl. I got it because I started seeing this new doctor and I know that this new doctor was, I know I got this new doctor and she came to me and I, you know, I found her because it was the right time. I found her because I needed her and she has really started to help me turn my health around and it has been huge. I don't know how open I've been with you guys about like some of my health struggles. I know I talk about mental health quite a bit. I was diagnosed with Graves' disease, which is an autoimmune disorder but I was misdiagnosed and I actually have Hashimoto's disease. So basically Graves' disease is a condition that comes from having an overactive thyroid. Hashimoto's disease is one of two types of underactive thyroid where um, instead of the thyroid being underactive, it's actually that the thyroid is potentially working just fine, but my body is attacking the hormone so I can't properly absorb it, which leads to symptoms and things like that that you would get from having an underactive thyroid. So this new doctor is a hormone specialist. She's incredible. She's helping me, like she <laughs> diagnosed me properly. She's like helping me get on track. And it's been so, so amazing for my physical well-being, for my mental and emotional well-being. But the thing is, see how that's just like coming up? But the thing is that um, my hormones were really messed up and she had, she basically told me like, first of all, we needed to get those taken care of, but also a woman of my age, did you hear that? A woman of my age, I am 30. Do I look old to you? Please don't answer that. 
my point is, I had never had to hear a woman of, of a woman of your age before in my life. So that was a new experience. Anyways, she told me that women who are a little bit older and are not trying to save their eggs for pregnancy, which let's be real, I've never been doing that, should not be on the hormonal pill, like the pill birth control, which is fine. However, my skin is pissed. My skin is so angry. My hormones are like, whatever hormones it is, it is that like directly affect like hormonal acne, which I really should probably learn more about now. Um, my skin is so angry. My face and my body are like breaking out and it's awful. Anyway, I got an IUD because that is what she recommended for birth control that is safe and healthy and whatnot. Here's the thing, you guys. Medical science is misogynistic and disgusting. And I would never tell somebody not to go see a doctor or to stop taking medication or anything like that at all. But what I'm saying is that the experience of getting an IUD inserted and then living with it for the next few months is horrific. It's terrible. And it is not something that we would like I cannot believe that we put people through this. I cannot believe that at this day and age, this is the most advanced, best option for like lasting birth control. Like that, that to me is just, all of that is to say, I might not be having proper periods anymore, um, which means that this is now, how am I gonna do this? This might be the last batch of menstrual cup dried, like biological that I get. So don't worry, I will cleanse the surface. I washed it before and I will wash it after. So now we're gonna see if I have a plan to like get this in the jar. There it is, there's the plan. Yeah, a little scoopy scoop. Anyways, thank you for listening to me rant. Um, this is a pretty simple technique. It's, um, it would be even simpler if I didn't have dog hair everywhere. Um, but I would love to know if y'all try this. I'd love to know if you think it's helpful or useful or interesting or whatever. And I'd also love to know if you have another method for drying. Um, I got the idea for this from the Blood Sorcery Bible, written by um, Sorceress Cagliastro, and I will link her book in my description. She's a great resource. Like any practitioner, we don't agree on everything. I have my own opinions and methods and things, but I did find her books, I do find her books very informative and very useful. And I love that she approaches witchcraft as though it were a science, because really, I mean, science and witchcraft are one and the same. Two sides of the same coin. So, um, that's something that I love about her. I would love to meet her someday. We shall see. We shall see. Everybody is, so everybody is appeased. I will be sanitizing this entire surface. I will look at that. Look at that. I don't even know if you can see it. Can you see it? Not bad, right? Not bad. Okay. So this is gonna go with the rest of my um, collection of you know tools and things. These are gonna go directly into the trash after I clean this up. These things are going to go in the dishwasher. This is going to go in the trash. So nobody needs to worry. I'm not doing that with gloves on. So nobody needs to worry. We're being completely sanitary and I did turn off the fan and the AC so that things wouldn't be blowing around. I wouldn't be breathing in. I wonder if I should have been wearing a mask. Maybe wear a mask or make sure that your face is like away. If you try this, maybe do that.
Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already, like this video, leave a comment, check out my other social media, and I will see you next time. Have a blessed and beautiful day.